Good afternoon, I'm Ziggy and this is Ziggy's Rants. Now, before I start, I'd like to uh, ask a favour. If you could um, share this video, if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and um, if you enjoy the show, please, plenty of thumbs up. They do make a difference. It helps with the... Um, with the reach of the channel and more people uh, that see it, that watch it, the better. So um, please uh, subscribe. And now for the main topic. It is 17 years. Yes, I know. 17 years to, to, from today that the SMP came to power 17 long long years now what have they achieved in scotland in that 17 years well we'll be told baby boxes big example that uh, sturgeon and humza and the rest like to use is baby boxes baby boxes that end up in charity shops baby boxes that um, cost a lot and really give very little because as usual there's uh, it was just a gimmick from the SMP there was no aftercare there's no um, f for new new parents there's there's nothing apart from a baby box which all end up in charity shops so what have they what have they achieved well let's start with education just go through a few other points start with and these are the big points start with education we've slipped down the pisa rankings to the point where for a few years the smp wouldn't even produce them wouldn't even show them and uh we've we're struggling in maths english the sciences all dropping we have um been taken the schools have been taken over by the gender issue um the kids are being indoctrinated so they've completely destroyed education and that started by the way under john sweeney the next first minister so don't expect a recovery the scottish national health service we were told they were doing brilliantly well let's have let's tell the truth on this longer waiting times than we've ever had on record cancer waiting times longer than we've ever had people waiting two years to see a consultant 500 consultants less than what we need uh, doctors and nurses uh, stressed uh, not being able to cope with the numbers that they've got that's what we've got in the Scottish National Health Service, a complete and utter chaos. Um, what next? Local councils, budgets being cut year on year with SMP austerity. Potholes not being fixed, can't afford to. Councils going bankrupt. Council's actually going to Westminster directly to ask for money. We have um, council tax freeze that we can't afford. Supposed to be a big announcement from Humza at the last SNP conference. He wrote it on the back of a stamp by the looks of it. He um, just figured I need some good news. I'll just announce a tax freeze without even contacting the local councils, uh, the organisation within that deal with the councils. 
no one knew even his own party didn't know so the local councils are struggling and this is not just over the last couple of years this is over the last 10 years where we've seen uh, the cuts deep deep cuts what else have they achieved a 1.5 billion black hole in public services that's what they've achieved uh the claim that it's free free prescriptions that's another claim of theirs well that was started under labor and it but it is another one where in my view the english system works better those that can pay pay and they pay for the ones that can't we in scotland no matter what you earn you get free prescriptions you'll be a millionaire and you get free prescriptions it's just not it's not right it's you know it, it's meant to be the wealthy or the middle class that can afford it that can afford it even though the middle class are getting squeezed a lot so you know that that's another thing but 90 90 i think it's 98 percent in england get free prescriptions it's just those that can afford it pay pay it uh, 98 percent that need the prescriptions actually don't have to pay for them so that free prescriptions which wasn't even started under the smp is another um myth from the smp university now they claim that the university free education for all for all scots free education look at the small print kids are not getting the places that they want in the subjects that they want because uh, of paying foreigners so it's not it's no good having free education if the kids can't get places and they get the the, the number of places have gotten less and less and less each year under the SMP so this idea that uh scots kids get free education yes yes they do they, they do that's that's great but they're not getting the courses that they want and they're not getting on the courses that um will will um, benefit them or what that they want to do like doctors for instance they're not getting into the medical um courses that they want because of paying foreigners so it's another disaster from the SNP but it's a great headline it is a great headline that they keep uh pulling out every so often oh we get we have free education in Scotland it's a headline and that's all it is so now um taxes highest taxed uh of the UK highest taxed of the UK and it's going up and up more taxes but you're getting less for your money but you're paying more taxes which is driving away the people we actually need that, to come into our hospitals like doctors and consultants and nurses it's driving them away and it's not attracting people to come into scotland because of it so that's another achievement over the last 17 years and what else would we add grr bill i don't know labor voted for that as well that's that's okay but it was a smp policy i know labor voted for it and uh they shouldn't have done that was a massive mistake on labor's part but it came it was an smp policy smp green policy and that's another thing another achievement they brought the greens into into government and all their wacky policies as well so that's another achievement from the SNP. Uh, the bottle scheme, another disaster from obviously uh, the Greens and Lorna Slater, of course, who uh, was brought into government. <sighs> One of the worst politicians we've ever seen brought into government, come up with a bottle scheme. And we haven't even got the final bill of how much that's cost the country that disastrous policy so that's another thing 
and of course we uh, we had 12 months of Humza Yusuf that we had to put up with another achievement from the SNP so we've had plenty the, the, <laughs> Plenty of disasters, not many successes. And of course, we've got we've had the 10 years of Nicola Sturgeon, and now we have the police investigation into widespread corruption within the SNP, and I believe within the government. Uh, this corruption's been going on a, a, a long time. And don't forget, the ferries. How long now? Been waiting years for these ferries, still not, still being pushed back, still costing more money, a lot more money. It would be easier. Turkey built them in a, uh, 12 months, built two ferries in the time, uh, and how long, six, seven years since we've been waiting for these ferries from the SNP and Turkey. Turkey, we were renowned for our shipbuilding renowned for it worldwide we're a laughing stock now so that's another achievement from the smp so we've got a lot of disasters but not much not many not much to celebrate over the last 17 years now they'll last we have another two years to put up with them so we'll be 19 years into an smp government 19 years 19 years let's make it 19 and out let's not have a nationalist government after 19 years of putting up with this in scotland let's finish it let's get them out vote them out and let's try and start to rebuild scotland and to fix the many issues we've got due to this inept SNP disastrous government we've had to put up with for 90 well it would have been 19 years so that's my rant for this afternoon please plenty of comments leave your comments love what reading your comments uh for those that want to come in and just throw your insults just don't bother it, it's you're wasting your time uh, but if you disagree with me, I have no issues whatsoever with people disagreeing with me. Uh, tell me what I'm saying that's wrong. Uh, give me your view and we can have a debate. That's how it should be. Just leave the insults in the playground. That's all you need to do. Excellent. So please leave your comments. Uh, subscribe. Please get a far far you know further reach a lot bit more people to watch the channel that's the aim and plenty of thumbs up so uh thank you have a lovely weekend and i'll speak to you tomorrow take care